Hi guys, in this video we will be discussing on how to install MariaDB on Ubuntu 20.04. Now I will be installing MariaDB on a remote machine but you can follow the same steps for installing it on your laptop and it will work exactly the same. So as you can see I am on my laptop here, I have opened up my terminal and all I have to do now is SSH into the remote machine that where I want to go I will enter my password. Right, so earlier I was in my laptop and now I'm at the root at the remote machine. Uh, like I said, this, uh, the steps will exactly be the same for installing it on your laptop as well. So I'll say sudo apt update, which is the first command. You have to update your machine. Then I'll say sudo apt install MariaDB server. Then I'll say sudo mysql secure installation. Now I know it says my, MySQL instead of MariaDB but just bear with me. Now it's going to ask us for these different options. So the first thing it's asking me is for the current password for root. So I have a password for the root. Now it's going to ask me to change the root password. No. So remove anonymous users. No. It's doing a secure installation of MariaDB basically. This allow root login remotely. No. I want to be able to log in as a remote. Uh, sorry, root remotely. Remove test database and accesses, no. And re reload privileges tables now, no. Thank you for using MariaDB, it's installed. Okay, so now let's go inside MariaDB. So if you see this, MariaDB none, that means that uh, you have successfully installed MariaDB and now you're inside MariaDB. This is the terminal for MariaDB. Now we have to uh, put a couple of commands here. Uh, these commands can be a little confusing, so I'll post them in the comment in the description box below. What we're saying is that grant all access, which is basically star dot or like the root uh, repository, all the databases to admin at the rate localhost. Whoever is the admin on the localhost, identified by password with grant option right uh, don't worry i'll post this command uh, in the description box you just have to copy and paste this so i'll say enter then i'll say flush privileges be careful with the spelling of privileges right so whatever privileges existed before it's going to flush all of them and then we'll say exit now i'm outside uh, outside of MariaDB, I'm not ins inside the MariaDB console or CLI anymore. I'm at my uh, root location of the server and I'm going to exit this as well. So I'm back to my laptop. And now I've successfully installed MariaDB in inside my uh, remote server. So the steps are pretty simple. I'll put all the steps in the description box below so you, you, don't ha you just have to copy and paste and everything will be done. So thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, then do subscribe. And if you have any issues, if you run into any issues, do post them in the comments below and I'll help you out.